Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today for what I think is a great video, Six Tips to Firm Your Skin. And these are easy tips, all of them you can do at home. And I realized through watching a video of Anthony Yoon, and I'll link that video below, that I just naturally am doing some things that are leading to my firmer skin that I was not even aware of. So these are really six surprising tips to have firmer skin. I am 63 years old, and as you can tell, my skin is pretty darn firm for 63 years old, and I think I am doing a lot of things right, and I am so excited to share them with you. And if you have tips and tricks that are helping you get firmer skin, I hope you'll share them in the comment section below the video so we can all benefit in the 50 plus beauty family. And if you're not yet a subscriber, and even if you're like 30 years old, you don't have to be 50 plus to join my channel. I would love to have even you younger ladies join 50 plus beauty because sometimes it's good to have one person in your stash to subscribe to one person that is older because that really shows you the things that are working over time. It's easy for another 30 year old to say what is helping her look beautiful, but quite honestly at 30, I could have woken up, done nothing to my skin, and many times did that, and I looked pretty darn good. So anyway, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and join the 50 Plus Beauty family if you're interested in serious anti-aging. Okay, first, let me drink my drink here. And this is my European sparkling mineral water that I get from Costco. It's their Kirkland's brand. Absolutely love it, and it actually goes with one of the tips I will be sharing with you about cutting down on sugar. Okay, let me get down to this. And first, I will point out Anthony Yoon's book, The Age Fix, and it is absolutely wonderful. Here it is, or here it is. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. But basically, it is great anti-aging advice really from very simple things you can do at home, clear up through plastic surgery and that kind of thing. It's kind of everything you would like to know about that, so I hope you will look into that book if you're interested in that topic. Okay, again, I realized through watching one of Anthony Yoon's videos, and I think it was five tips for firmer skin or something like that, five tips for anti-aging, that there were a couple of tips that I was doing naturally that I did not realize were contributing to maybe my firmer skin than, than some other people my age. And I will share those with you. But the first tip he did have in his video, and I have done this for about three years, and this is taking collagen every single morning. And he says that there are studies which support that taking collagen by mouth really does improve your hair, skin, and nails. And I have done it for three years. He did point out in his video that it needs to be good quality collagen, which this is. This is collagen types one and three, and that it needs to be hydrolyzed. And by the way, one and three are the types of collagen that we do have in our skin. And hydrolyzation or hydrolyzed collagen is long chains of collagen that are broken down into smaller hydrolyzed chains so that when we ingest them, they can actually go and become part of your skin. The collagen molecules being hydrolyzed become small enough to become building blocks of our own skin. And I have done this now for about three years. This is probably maybe the sixth or seventh jar of this particular brand that I've had. I found this brand from a doctor's channel called Brad Stanfield. And he really looks into all the supplements and really what they contain. And he said of all the collagens he studied out there, and he studied a lot of them, this was not only less expensive than other brands, it was just a really effective brand being the types one and three collagen and being hydrolyzed. So I will link this below the video if you'd like to check this out. Okay, the second tip that I got from Dr. Yoon's video was about intermittent fasting. And I have been doing this for again for about three years and I never knew that it had skincare benefits. I always did intermittent fasting because quite honestly, it helps me control my weight and the anti-aging studies say that fasting and even intermittent fasting can help you live longer. And like I say, I've been using intermittent fasting for the last three years, but I didn't know until Dr. Yoon's video that it is actually helping to firm my skin. And it is something very easy that you can do as well. And basically fasting, of course, is not eating for a certain amount of hours or a certain amount of days, preferably days to get the most benefit. Well, most of us can't do that. I have done maybe a week-long fast a couple of times in my life, 
for other issues, and it really did help solve some bowel issues I was having way back when, but it takes too much discipline, and I have hypoglycemia, and so I'm miserable the whole time. But intermittent fasting, the studies are showing, produces really just about the same results as you would get from long-term fasting, and it's a lot easier. And basically what you do is you lengthen the window of time during each day that you're not eating anything. You can drink coffee or tea or water, or diet pop if you do that. I don't do that anymore. But you lengthen the number of hours that you're fasting each day. And how I do that is I get up in the morning and I don't eat breakfast. Don't eat breakfast at all. I wait until noon and then I have my lunch and then I have my dinner and I try to stop eating by 8 o'clock at night. And so then my fasting window becomes from 8 o'clock one night until about noon the next day. So that is a very long fasting window. I think it's about 14 hours. And you can have coffee or tea, but you can't have creamer or anything like that in your coffee or your tea. You can have water. You can have diet pop, I suppose, although I really think that's bad for your skin too. And I quit that about a year and a half ago, which could probably be the seventh tip to have firmer skin because I really think diet pop ages us. But anyway, through that intermittent fasting, Dr. Yoon says you are actually firming your skin because in those number of hours of fasting, your body has time to go through what they call autophagy. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically it cleans up the old dead skin cells, body cells, anything in your body, the refuse cells that are in your body. And that's what that fasting window does is it helps clean up all of the refuse in our body, including damaged skin cells. And after watching his video and hearing his support for intermittent fasting, I really think Dr. Yoon is right that my three years of intermittent fasting has really helped to firm my skin. Now, another thing, which actually Dr. Yoon did not mention in that particular video, but he has mentioned in other videos, and Dr. Dre has mentioned this too, is something which I have been doing for the past three years, actually longer than that. But I really try not to ingest sugars or excessive carbs. Now, I will say that I'm a human, and once a week or so I have a dessert or I have this one particular candy bar which I wish I had never discovered, and I will not tell you the name of it because I don't want you to get hooked on it. I think it's the crack of candy bars. But anyway, really cutting out the sugars and the processed carbs certainly in your diet really does help to firm your skin. Basically, sugar itself is kind of a toxin. It's toxic to our bodies. It doesn't bring anything positive to our skin cells, for sure. But cutting out the sugars really does go a long way towards stopping what they call glycation. But really trying to watch the amount of added sugar that you add to your diet and really decreasing carbs, I have found, is something that has really helped my skin. So the first three tips were taking collagen, using intermittent fasting, and cutting down on sugars was the third tip. And the fourth tip is adding a vitamin A to your skincare regimen. And this is what I use. This is tretinoin. I use the 0.5% cream of the tretinoin. The brand name of this is Retin-A. You may know it as Retin-A. And I have been using this much longer than three years, maybe about four or five years. And I think it has really helped firm my skin. Now, if you're younger and you think this is a little too harsh for you because it is hard to get used to this, this really makes you peel like a snake. Uh, it takes a while to get into this. You can use a retinol-based cream, and there are many of those out there, and they're not very expensive. Or if you would like to go a little higher than those retinol-type creams, because your body does have to convert the retinol into vitamin A, and the studies are kind of inconclusive on that, on if that really does get converted as well as something like this, because this is already converted. The body does not have to convert this. Another thing over the counter that you can use, which is similar to the tretinoin, is called Differin. And Differin used to be by prescription only, and it was for acne, but the studies are showing lately that Differin has much the same effects on our skin as tretinoin because it is another vitamin A derivative and that Differin can be helpful in reducing those fine lines and wrinkles. So my fourth tip is to go out and get yourself a vitamin A derivative. Now, my fifth tip I heard in Anthony Yoon's video and it surprised me because it's something that I've added to my lifestyle, I guess, for about the past three to four months and that is meditation. And I added meditation because quite honestly, in my second half, 
Number one, I want to get the stress reduction benefits of meditation. But number two, I really want to go on a spiritual journey in my second half. I'm going to retire in January and I'm going to have much more time to be praying and meditating and doing all manner of spiritual pursuits. And so getting into meditation was something that I thought would be helpful for that. I've done it at many other times intermittently throughout my life, but this is the first time I've done it consistently for maybe three or four months and I plan to keep it up. And I was very surprised when Dr. Yoon said that meditation actually helps firm your skin and give you more smooth, radiant, glowing, line-free skin. Basically, that meditation helps you in anti-aging for your skin. And it does that by reducing stress and cortisol in your system, and your skin responds very positively to that. Okay, meditation is super easy and super simple. Everyone tries to complicate it, and they seem to think you have to sit cross-legged or, or put your fingers in a mundra. I think it's called mundra, I'm not sure yet. But I don't do any of that. I don't sit in a special pose. I just sit in a comfortable chair in my family room. It's the chair where, where I do my prayer. And I just sit there and I find a comfortable position. I don't even particularly keep my back straight because I find sometimes when I'm meditating, I get little tingles through my body and I can get even more tingles not being totally rigidly straight, but just being comfortable in my chair. And then what you do is you use your cell phone timer and you set it for 10 minutes and then you just close your eyes and relax and then you just breathe in and out through your nose. And you just follow your breath in and out. And what they tell you to do, which does help sometimes, is to think when you're breathing where you feel that breath. Some people feel it as a little bit of a coolness under their nostrils and so you just kind of concentrate on that area. Some people feel it down in their chest or down in their tummy you feel it in that area. And every time you think a thought, which you will because our thoughts are continually bombarding us, you just kind of look at it like a cloud and go, oh, that was a thought about what I'm going to do after work. Go back to the breath. Go back to the breath. And you just keep reminding yourself to go back to the breath. And if 10 minutes is too much to start with, which it was for me when I started, I did five minutes. And I did that for probably a couple of weeks. And I've added a second meditation point in the day. I meditate first thing when I get up in the morning and then I meditate in the evening before I go to bed. And I was so delighted to know that in addition to giving me all kinds of stress relief benefits and health benefits, it's also benefiting my skin. And I have a wonderful meditation that I do in the morning. It's actually three different meditations and it is for success and beauty and just self-love. And if you would like to see that specific meditation protocol that I've developed, please mention that in the comment section below the video because it has really been helping me become more successful in my life to manifest those things that I want in life and to just feel better throughout my day. Okay, the sixth tip that Dr. Yoon mentioned was using a dermaplane device. Now, of course, he offers it in office, but he actually mentioned this one by name. This is the Sonic Smooth Dermaplane Device, and I have been using this once a week just to defuzz my hair all over my skin. And I did it this morning, and look how beautifully my foundation has gone on over my skin because all of that peach fuzz is gone. But I was really surprised when Dr. Yoon said this has great facial firming benefits as well. And you know, this morning I looked closer in the mirror at what was happening and he is exactly right. Basically, you take this little device, you turn it on, I don't know if you can hear that, and you just pull your skin taut and little by little all over your skin, you're just getting off those little hairs from all over your skin, all over your skin. And I noticed that he is exactly right that as you were doing that, it is a great exfoliator because when I really looked up close, not only was it taking off all those little downy hairs, which again makes your makeup apply beautifully, I was getting lots and lots of peely skin off my face, just a ton. And I had never really noticed that before because I knew stuff was coming off my face and I assumed it was just the hair. And it was so interesting when Dr. Yoon mentioned that you were also deeply exfoliating your skin with this. And I will say, that if you use Retin-A or Tretinoin as I do, you will have those days through the course of years. I still get those peely days every now and then. And this is a great tool to exfoliate your skin whenever you're dealing with Retin-A peeling. But I was thrilled to realize that Dr. Yoon says this is a great tool to firm your skin.
Well, the Collagen and the Sonic Smooth are linked below the video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, whether you're 30, 40, 50, or like me in your 60s, then I hope you subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And you can join the 50 Plus Beauty family, which I would appreciate. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I read from one of those positive thinking card decks and discuss that card with you. But sometimes I just like to share things that I am learning, spiritual things I'm learning in my second half. Because as I mentioned earlier, that is one of my main priorities in the second half because we're getting older and the end is more in sight. And I want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. And one of the things that I have learned, which I think is very interesting and I would love to share with you, is that there is a law of manifestation. There is a law of thinking and speaking. And really to have a happy life, to have a productive life, to have a life where we're manifesting the things that we want, not the things that we don't want, we really need to follow this law of thinking and feeling. And when we do that, magical things can start to happen. And I have been noticing that in my own life that when I follow the law of thinking and feeling, good things really do happen and I stay on a productive path for my life. And basically what the law is, is that our words and thoughts have power. They have tremendous power. And that really the best thing we can do is try to never say anything negative and try to think positive thoughts only. And we are human beings and we are going to get those negative thoughts that come in, but positive thinking is a habit. Positive thinking is a habit and we learn to improve our positive thinking abilities through things like listening to affirmations, which I do. And if you request my meditation video, I will explain the affirmations that I use. Some of them are beauty related and age reduction related and health related, that kind of thing. But it is important as we're going through our day to really realize the importance of what we think and the words that we speak. So I guess I would urge you all through the day to really listen to yourself, almost as if you're outside yourself, looking in, looking at yourself and thinking, hmm, is that thought productive for me or not? And if it's not, say, I changed my thought to gratitude. And switching to a gratitude thought is something that can help us erase some of those negative thoughts. And as we're speaking throughout the day, let's realize the power in our words and let's only speak things that bring us positive results. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.